One of the great things about the Singer 99 is it doesn't really matter what decade your machine's from, whether it's from the 1920s or the 1940s. They thread in the same way and the bobbin winding process is exactly the same as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get your Singer 99 up and ready for your sewing project. And we're going to start with the very first thing you should do before you start any project and that's to wind your bobbin. Because if you start by threading the machine first, you'll have to unthread your needle so that you can wind the bobbin. So, step number one, winding the bobbin. For this one, I'm going to be using the machine from the 1940s because the bobbin winder on this one is actually broken. Pop your spool of thread on top of the spool pin on the top of the machine. The next thing you want to do is take the thread across to this thread guide just slot it in. Now this is going to be a bit different depending on the age of your um, 99. Some models have got this little two down the bottom and some like the Singer 99 from the 1920s don't. If you don't have this thread guide your thread goes straight to the bobbin. But for this one, because there's a little thread guide here, you go around the two. Now this next stage is the same for the, for the 1920s, Singer 99 and for this one. You put your thread through the hole in the bobbin, from the inside of the bobbin to the outside. Just pull it through just a little bit and then you pop the bobbin on the bobbin stand. The next thing you want to do is there's a little disc inside the hand wheel, this one. You need to hold the balance wheel and turn that little disc so that it disengages the needle going up and down. The next thing that you want to do is you want to push down on the bobbin winding mechanism so that it sits against this part of the hand wheel and that little silver lever there slots into the middle of the bobbin. And then with the foot pedal or knee lever or however your machine works, let it go for a couple of revolutions like so and then chop off this tail and then just let it go. When your bobbin's full, you should find that the automatic stop will push this away from the hand wheel for you and stop the bobbin from winding. But if you want to release it manually, all you do is just push on that little silver lever and that will release the bobbin winder for you. Don't forget to turn the little disc inside your balance wheel back on so that the needle is re-engaged. Step number two is to load the bobbin into the machine and to do that you need to make sure that the thread comes off anti-clockwise. Pop it into the bobbin housing in the machine, bring the thread through the groove to the left hand side of the bobbin housing and then back through the next groove. There. Close this and make sure that the thread goes through that little notch in the, um, the cover. The next thing to do is to thread the top of the machine and to do that we're going to pop the thread back on the thread stand we're going to come to this thread guide here. We're going to go down, round the tension discs. And there's like a, there's a little check spring there. You need to bring the thread up and through that little check spring. And the next bit, you see this bit here, it's like a little arm. You need to come under that little arm. You don't have to go through the little hole you just come from the back and under and then up 
make sure your take up lever is at its highest point and thread the thread through. The one thing that you have to make sure like on any sewing machine is make sure that your foot is in the up position. There's a little thread guide just on the face plate here that your thread needs to go into. Now sometimes on singer machines there'll either be a little gap on either the left or the right hand side of this little thread guide and then on other machines there won't be any gap at all. So depending on what sort you've got you can either hold the thread and click it into that thread guide or just thread it through like that. The next one that you need to look at is this one just on top of the needle bar and you want to make sure that the thread goes behind that. Now because, oops, because this um, thread guide here is on the left hand side of the needle it tells me that this needle goes in with the flat side facing the right which means that this machine threads from left to right. Just get that out of the way for a minute. I've got a needle threader inserted through the needle so that the little wire bit on that needle threader is on the left hand side and what I'm going to do now is just put this thread through that wire. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull it to the right. So the needle is now threaded left to right. The next thing that we want to do is we want to pull the bobbin thread up. So you hold the top thread and you turn the hand wheel towards you and watch as the needle goes down. And as it comes back up it should bring the bobbin thread with it. You might have to just pull just a little bit and then just grab a pair of snips or your um, seam ripper just to pull it out from underneath. And there you go, that's how you thread and load a bobbin on a Singer 99. I hope you liked today's video, if you did give it a thumbs up and why not subscribe and click that little bell so that YouTube can let you know when I upload another video. And why not check out some of the other content that I've got on this channel using the links on the screen any minute now or the ones I'll pop in the description box below for you. Whatever video you go and check out next, hope to see you back here for the next one. And in the meantime, whatever you're sewing, whatever you're sewing it with, embrace your creativity and have fun. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.